what's going on guys now I know I haven't done you know videos in quite a bit because I've been super busy yes I always get that excuse I'm super busy to do something however um, I did take out equipment this weekend um, to shoot something I promised people I was gonna do an Arrested Development season 4 review which I just finished uh, shooting as you can tell by the uh, wireless microphone that I'm wearing that uh, I did so here it is. Uh, I grabbed a Nikon D4 um, because people ask me about how the video is on Nikons. Uh, I personally shoot with Canon. This little point shoes a Canon. Every camera I've taken out and used was a Canon. Uh, I just, I, I, I just love Canon. Um, I have taken out a D800 before. I haven't taken out the D600, uh, but I wanted to try out the D4. Uh, to compare it to uh, the 1DX, which is their equivalent in Canon. It's, it's a nice uh, sports action photography shooter. Like I said, it is the equivalent to 1DX. Uh, it does shoot video, uh, 1080p, 24, 30, and 25. Uh, it's got ports uh, for a microphone, headphone jack, you know, HDMI, all the, the bells and whistles like a Canon 1DX would have. And that's why I hooked up the uh, the wireless lab kit to it. I've just been doing that. So hopefully I'll have it up soon uh, and because uh, I really have anything to do today. Uh, last weekend I hung out with Julian and uh, we went around uh, shopping for Blu-rays. I didn't get anything he did. Uh, I'll put the vlog up uh, at the in the end slate of the one I was in that he shows that we went out the Best Buy and Walmart and stuff like that. Uh, other than that, i just been uh, trying to edit this web series that he and a couple other friends I know uh, shot almost a year ago. And uh, I'm trying to edit their season one, uh, which is all over the place, uh, missing footage. But uh, I actually had this footage for almost like three or four months. Uh, I just haven't touched it because I've been focused on the waiting for a call short film. I usually tell people, pay stuff comes first, then my stuff, then theirs. So that's the hierarchy I do it. Uh, if they want me to do stuff that I give them those guidelines, then some are willing to work with me on that, some aren't. But, uh, other than that, uh, I also have been uh, working on a couple channel banners. I know I have to do a couple uh, for my other two channels. Uh, I did one for, for this channel, uh, kind of half-assed it because I just wanted to get something out to, to fix it. Um, but I'll probably redo it again and uh, put a better one on there. Uh, I still need to do one for the HBK Vape Films channel, which I'm waiting for Matthias to actually uh, create a logo for me because that's going to be in any HBK Vic Films short. Uh, it'll be the bumper in front of all that stuff. And I'm also going to use it as the logo. Uh, for for the channel banner um, I'll probably just do something cheap for my business cards that I gotta get soon for VidCon and um, I went for the HBK Big uh, Reviews Flix channel that Allie asked me to do one for her a nice little simple one so I've been working on that last night and this morning I got inspired yesterday to uh, write a comedy web series when I was at work uh, we were listening to uh, the Batman uh, Dark Knight uh, soundtrack in which uh, I got inspired to do at least one action short just do a quick little um, short film or a web short uh, involving action probably gunplay shoot that very quick and do like small post work on that and uh, a comedy web series uh, because I was talking about doing a review for Arrested Development Season 4 and then like watching shows like The Office uh, I got inspired to do almost like a documentary style type web series involving filmmaking. So I started doing the character breakdowns at work yesterday and uh, they're coming up really well and uh, I've already talked to a couple of people who I wanted them to be in the web series and they agreed to do it. So as soon as I finish up the character developments uh, I'm going to send those out to those people and uh, see what they think about their characters and then I'm gonna take the next two months t 
to actually write this. I'm only going to do six episodes for season one. And then uh, hopefully we'll build an audience off that. And uh, get season two financed through Kickstarter or Indiegogo. And then uh, I'm going to take those scripts too and try to pitch them to some YouTubers at VidCon. See if they're willing to jump on this web series as well. But uh, that's what's been going on with my life. Uh, I'm probably like another week or two weeks out from actually getting Winnie for a call truly finished. Uh, my editor, who's been editing this whole thing, is now finishing up the visual effects for the movie. And then I gotta send it off to Ian, who is my producer slash AD, is doing the sound design behind it. My friend Dylan, who uh, used to work at, or still works at Target, is doing all the music for me. So once I get that from him, send them all both off to Ian, so I can just put them in, and then I gotta find someone to do color correcting, and then it's completely done. Um, I'll probably do the credits myself, so I can say it's completely done. So yeah, that's it so far. I'm tired. I just got a whole bunch of other shit to do today. So that is it. I will see you guys next time on another video. Later.